Welcome back to What They Won't Tell You, The Quantum Truth with Sherry Unshara. And today, we are talking about the emotionality of illness. So Sherry, how does our emotionality lead to illness? Well, the emotionality within our body is run through the left computer brain. Mm. And so emotions, you know what? I'm going to bust a belief system here. Anybody out here in the audience listening to this, do not panic. I am not judging. Mm. But there is a new terminology that came up through psychiatry and psychology. I'm not judging it that there is intelligence in emotions. I can't help it. It makes me laugh. Mm. Emotional intelligence. Oh, yeah. You hear that. I promise you there is not one ounce, not one molecule, not one cell particle to the subatomic level of you. There is not one ounce, not one spot of intelligence in emotions. Emotions are the core of every disease. Oof. Every so, disease. And I, actually, I co-authored a book, and isn't out yet, with someone, and I gave them the uh, emotionality of every disease from A to Z. I am not kidding you, because mm. uh, the author, her name is Sh uh, Sharon Wyeth, she gave, we, I went through it, and she was blown away. And she comes from the educational field. So if you look at the idea of the emotionality, and, you know, I've been doing this for over 30 some years with clients. And so if you look at the idea of addiction, what is addiction? Emotional. What is it? I can tell oh, you. I, I'm drawing a blank. You're going to have to. Mm -hmm. It's desperation for attention. Really? Addiction? And, yeah. It, it doesn't matter oh. what kind, whether it's sex or drugs or rock and roll. Does it? When you're addicted, it, it's that's what you are addicted to. So let's talk about it. So I've been trying to quit smoking mm -hmm. forever. Mm -hmm. So is that a cry for attention? Yes, from mm. yourself. From myself. And so why is the, the attention? An addict, who gets all the attention? An addict. And that, oh, right. Uh, and, and so- you know what, Cassie? You you really should quit smoking. I know I will, but I'll think about it. This is not right. That's how I, my mind thinks. You're exactly Exa right. I'm I, just I know. telling you. <laughs> or, and, you know, and then you have the disabling enablers. Right. This is the part that I love: the disabling enablers in their addiction side yeah. of it. Oh my God! All I've done for you. Oh, right. My. Well, you know what? I got about a couple more things on the agenda here. Yeah. Right. Right. So they're trapped in that. Cancer doesn't matter where it is in the body. It is the uh, eating yourself up alive. Hmm. I mean, I have been working with clients. It doesn't matter where it is. It, and you get to it. You know, believe it or not, through my Anshara method of accelerated healing and abundance, within 10 minutes, you can get to the core of that emotionality and when it started. Wow. Could be in the womb. It could be one years old. It could be 12 years old. And that emotionality builds upon it. But this is in the unconscious and the left computer brain. And your brain isn't even developed as a half computer brain until you're about 25. Yeah. And so, so the emotionality of it, you take it on. Anxiety is unrealistic expectations. Here's right. the proof. I'm using myself an example. Right. I'm 12 years old. I come home, I have five A's and a B. Now, this is not r blaming my mother in any way, shape, or form, but she looks at the car. I'm like, I got five A's, I got one B. And she said, why'd you get a B? Right. But that's, you know, not wrong in her as a mother, and she wasn't being mean or anything. And so I got so anxious about it. The next card, I thought, ah, oh, the hell with it. I got two B's. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so because, but I'm 12, my right. brain is in, and so it isn't right or wrong. So that set up an anxiety in my idea. That brain isn't developed yet. Hello, folks. Mm -hmm. And so I always thought that I had to have all A's. Right. And if I couldn't get it, then there was something wrong with me. And that's what caused anxiety because you were trying to follow the program. Exactly. Mm. Why didn't I get it? You know, and then there were a couple times and then I did get all A's again. It didn't really matter. Mm. But the stress that was placed on, and it's not parents are wrong or they don't sometimes know what they're saying. But that is how anxiety gets started. So here's, this is the best one. I could do a, um, I bet I could do a study on this one on very religious people. Now, everybody in the audience, don't be panicking here. Mm -hmm. Arthritis. 
Arthritis, okay. Is rigid belief systems. Oh, really? Yes, arthritis huh. is rigid belief system. I, hmm. I'm, I'm not kidding you, and we can get to the core of when that started and where is it. Did hmm. you know that your wrist, carpal tunnel, baloney, and so that's a retraction of the energy in the heart. So that, that's just like ridiculous. But just emotionally, physically, and if you look at it consciously, your wrists and ankles represent a support issue not having it. Huh. What is the knee? Because I have a friend who has his knee keeps maxing out, like, and he works hard, good at worker, but there's always problems with his knee, and you can right see a left. physical. Yeah, of uh, course. It's the right knee. That's the male side. Okay. So the, the male, male side goes to the left brain. Right. And so... I bet that he is incredibly responsible. Yeah, he is. So the shoulders are connected to the knees. Yeah. And so when we, you know, look at those old people hunched over, right. whatever. So the shoulders emotionally represent the responsible shit program. Huh. So I can be responsive to you, but I can't be responsible shit. Right. And so it builds up the molecules of emotion, which are thick, snotty, gelatinous, goopy, sticky. Hmm. And then eventually the weight of it, you know, and that's why in the metaphysical world, don't be panicked here, I'm not judging, <laughs> that the light body. So what happens when you release these molecules of emotion, the cells open up. Hmm. There, there's more room. I call it the empty fullness. Uh. And so the shoulders go down hmm. and whatever. I was working with a client the other day in the 70s, and this person happened to be a woman spoke the truth, the throats, the feet. And and one of the issues was the left side being off, the ankle on the left side, the foot, you know, we, the right would be straight. And she said, you know what? I'm done with this job. I, I can't do it. I'm hating it. Soon as she said that, her whole left creative female side straightened up and her foot and leg went completely straight wow. and her greater trochanter in her left hip straightened up. Wow. Because huh. the body is the intelligence intellect. Honestly, folks, your left computer brain is dumber than a doornail. Yeah. Not, not right, because you're not connected to the right side, which right. is the creative side. Yeah. And I teach people tools of how to connect left brain, right brain. So all of this emotionality is labeled by a dis-ease, and then you get diagnosed. Diagnosed, right. <laughs> yes, you're and if somebody's telling it, and that, that's... You know, I, I have my own feelings of pharmaca and the medical industry, and mm -hmm. yeah, they do do good, great things. Uh, oh, but at the flip side of things, far, a pharmacy, pharmaca, mm -hmm. it, it's it's basically it's shifting. I'll give you a pill. Oh wait, now I have five other side effects. Oh, don't worry, we have a pill for that too. Oh, well then I got more. Oh no, no, we have endless amounts of pills. Don't worry, you just have to pay for it and fall into the program, right? And what do you have on a farm? You farm, you have cattle. Yes. Hello. So sheep <laughs> you have sheep. Yeah. You so, have sheep. It's like we talked in the other episode about broadcasting on the TV side. In the medical industry, it's more pharmaca, which is farming humans. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Oh, I my just God. Got that one. Oh, my I always, God. I <laughs> can't. Oh, I just opened my, my mind's eye like so much further. <laughs> Farming humans, they're far. I mean, you see the opioids, they can buy out billion dollar lawsuits. They don't care who's dying. Like you're talking about the, it's like, okay, we're the kings and everybody else is serfs. That's, that's correct. It. So, and that's what they want. And they'll, they'll be like, all right, oh, we, we're going to pretend that this is a big deal and pay a whole bunch of money that we don't really care because we're making even more money than what we're paying out in the lawsuits. So it's just, it's weird. It's interesting because they're dependent on that pill. Then get you that dependent in that system. Yeah, it's called so, addiction. Yeah, and the, the addiction. So it's that attention that you're talking about. A, a desperate for attention. Instead of looking at your own, the intelligence and intellect is in your body. It's your hmm. cellular memory that's clear and pure. It's the cellular memorization of the emotional hooks that make you sick. And for me to watch my clients, and many have become really good friends, to see them change and step back into their power. Mm. Power is who you are. That's use it, utilizing your natural innate ability. That's your intuition. And, and, and so when you become powerful, you can't be controlled. That's amazing. All right. So that's all the time we have left. Again, this is a very insightful thing about emotionality and illness. This is What They Won't Tell You with Sherry Anchara, The Quantum Truth. And you can find all of our information. Contact Sherry itself. Give her, get a session at www.sherryanshara.com. See you next time.